some Yu-Gi-Oh Jesus. Shut up! Hey, I'm going to the card shop. You need anything? Um, I don't think I need anything, but are you not bringing a deck? Well, of course I am. It's right here. You got dice? Yeah. Light points? Well, I've got my phone. You're mad? Yeah. Alright, well, have fun then. See you guys later. Uh, look, he's got sleeves and mats. I have no idea why he does that. Alright you guys, in this video I'm going to show you everything that I bring to the table. Huge shout out to MetaMats and 1UpTCG, my sponsors, uh, the best sponsors in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! They have to be, they sponsor the second coming of the one and only Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus. Just huge shout out to my sponsors, my patrons, you guys make this channel, you guys kick so much ass. But today there's a special shout out to Gym Play Mats and Accessories because they're the whole reason why I'm making today's video because they sent me something that is going to top off and cap off everything that I'm going to be showing you in today's video. So without further ado, let's get into this. First things first, guys, I bring my table 500 tent with me wherever I go. That way, it is table 500 wherever I go. Wherever I play Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever table I'm at, I can post up and it is table 500 and I'm right at home. I'm right at home. <laughs> I jacked this at Nats um, in Chicago a few years back. Um, it was actually the same um, uh, Nats. Um, I met MetaMats, uh, speaking of MetaMats um, earlier. But yeah, that's the same Nationals I met MetaMats. Um, I actually met Innovation Yu-Gi-Oh. We, uh, we all got kicked out of a pub together. Fun times. Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus does not drink anymore because he gets crazy. I may be able to turn water into wine, but I kind of guide others to a treasure that I cannot possess. Good times though, guys. Seriously, table 500 tent, a good uh, memento from, you know, from that trip. And plus, that's a good thing to bring around with you. Seriously, uh, you know, you get, get to feel right at home. And if you want to feel just a little bit better, you can flip it over to 499. You can be, you know, just that one step above table 500 if you're feeling a little edgy, you know, feeling good that day. And I've been talking about meta mats a lot. The next thing I want to show you is the mat that I play on these days. Um, this mat does not have a name. No, this mat does not have a name. Um, I just call it Duelist Dragon because it's got a Chinese dragon on it or, you know, a Chinese dragon statue. Uh, but I just call it Duelist Dragon. But what this actually is, is a very rare one-year anniversary meta mat. This is a... This is one of only um, a couple dozen mats of this type ever made. Seriously, guys. And matter of fact, this is an even rarer version of that. There's only a couple of dozen, seriously, mats with this artwork on them. The, the other side is the same. I'll show you guys. The other side's the same, you know. But um, there's only a couple dozen, and this one in particular um, is not only not only does it have this art, but it is made out of a special waterproof material, as well as having a special back. This backing, guys, this backing material wasn't even like it didn't even make it to the cyber my my special edition cyber dragon mats. Not even those have this like had or have this material. Seriously, guys, very very rare mats. This is one of five. One of five or six, uh, Dave said. I think he said five or six that he made. And he sent them to me. He sent, sent a couple to me. He sent them to just all of his friends and stuff so we could have, you know, the one year, you know, just all of us, you know, the one year uh, anniversary mat. And it turned out beautiful. Actually, you guys most recently saw it in the fake Yu-Gi-Oh cards video. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's the most recent uh, video I have, I think, of me playing on it. But uh, seriously, though, this is an amazing mat. Um, I've had it for, for a really long time. This is just an amazing gift from a good friend. And um, I would give away the other version of this mat, the other, you know, uh, twin to this mat that I have uh, to you guys in this video, except that I've already given it to one of my friends. Um, so this is the only mat, this is the only copy of this mat that I have too. Um, it's an amazing mat. Um, this mat right here, you know, Theo made me, <laughs> you know, a long time ago in, uh, you know, the fan mail. And uh, I use this for videos and everything. I retired the old, you know, uh, Seolbori Calcos uh, Yugi Nono mat. Looks more like my channel banner. I actually use it as my mouse pad uh, on my computer now, you know, so it still gets used. But, you know, I retired that, upgraded to this for, for videos, but guys, when I, you know, go out and duel and stuff, and when I play friends even, all that stuff, this is what I play on. The material is just amazing, um, and this, and it looks great. Like, I just, I love this mat. And once again, this is just a really cool gift from a friend. Uh, speaking about gifts, guys, and before I get into this next part, you guys are going to be asking about fan mail. Um, I will be doing fan mail again in the future. Like I've said, um, it will be coming back at some point. Um, just let me, you know, work up into it. It will come back. You know, it was 
was a lot of work. It really, really was. But um, I really want to bring it back. It was a lot of fun. I loved, you know, interacting with you guys. I really did. I loved, you know, mailing you guys, you know, talking to you guys. Gave me, and I got more messages on Facebook that way too. And it was cool to, you know, talk to people. Uh, more, more people messaged me when I had the uh, the uh, fan mail going. So yeah, it was just really cool. Um, anyways, though, um, we'll bring it back eventually. But for right now, I mean, let's put it this way. Um, when I bring back the fan mail, when we bring it back, you'll know. Uh, there will be a video about it. You, you all will know. Let's put it that way, okay? Keeping it simple. But uh, speaking of fan mail, I actually got this deck box right here, my main deck box uh, that I bring everywhere with me. I got this from a fan, and it has come in handy because if you look, see this stain? I don't know if it shows on camera. I think you can see it. Yeah, I can see it from here, so you guys should be able to see it in the video. But this stain right here shows that this box has saved my it saved my cards. It has saved my cards. Um, this is a really good deck box. Um, you know, once again, I got it from a fan named David, actually. I and mean, he sent me this and some uh, um, Japanese, um, yeah, he sent me some Japanese DDD cards, and those uh, make up um, a huge bulk of the, uh, a lot of what he sent me makes up, um, you know, a big bulk of the uh, uh, Japanese collection, you know, my Japanese collection binder I have to this day, so and I'm really appreciative, it's just really, it's a really cool deck box, I'm appreciative of everything he sent me, you know, all my fans sent me through fan mail, it's just, I just, I got so much cool stuff, and that's what you'll find in this video, guys, a lot of my coolest and most treasured Yu-Gi-Oh stuff has come from you guys, it really has. But for what I keep in this box, um, it depends, uh, you know, all, at all times I'll keep my main deck, um, right now it's a uh, Counter Fairy, I most, uh, you know, this is actually my most recent video, um, it should be, you know, by the time you guys see this, yeah, it'll be my most recent video when, when you guys see this, but, um, this is my main deck, uh, you know, so this is what I'm keep obviously keeping in my box, you know, mainly is my main deck, of course, you know, for the format. Um, what I keep in the other uh, compartment here really depends um, on where I'm going, you know, what I'm doing and stuff. Um, a lot of the time it'll be a Herald deck, um, it'll be a 2002 deck if I'm going and hanging out with Sam and those guys because we like to play some 2002, um, if I'm hanging out with Brady or something, it's 2002. Uh, but in most cases, I just bring a um, goat deck with me because people play goats and I play goats and for me it's beast, but yeah. Yeah. Um, I keep a keep a goat deck with me, so I'm always um, available to goat down with somebody. You know, if they if they want to play some old school goat format instead of uh, modern Yu-Gi-Oh, you know. And I'm always down to play some goats. Um, it's just so much fun. It's so much fun, guys. It's so much fun, and it's just fun just playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Just to play Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't have to be in a tournament, you know, and like super try hard, you know, whatever. Like, oh god, that still makes me uncomfortable. Now this tray right here, this is where I keep the really cool stuff. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put this box down. So I'm um, gonna start with the dice. Let's start with the Dice. So these dice um, I carry with me, you know, obviously, so I can decide who goes first, so I can get that high roll. That wasn't the best one. Get that high roll. But these dice I've had for a very long time. They're wooden dice. Um, you know, they're kind of rounded corners and everything. Um, these came out of a very old Settlers of Catan game. Uh, these dice came out of a very old Settlers of Catan game that I used to play with my friend um, years and years and years ago before he died. So, um, yeah, these have a lot of sentimental value to me, uh, to say the least. Um, so yeah, these are the dice, you know, I carry with me at all times. They just, they're really, really, really light. I like that they're made out of wood. <laughs> Little snake eyes on video. Man, come on, you're trolling me, dude. But yeah, these dice are just amazing. And like I said, um, I used to play Settlers of Catan, Risk. Uh, I used to play those when I was younger. Um, actually, actually, before I ever got into Yu-Gi-Oh, I was more into uh, board games. Fun fact, fun fact. Um, now, you know, I'm just going to show all these at the same time here. Let me show all these at the same time. Another fan, also named David, actually. Um, same name, different guy, I'm pretty sure because I'm pretty sure because I didn't get the last name of the guy who sent me the deck box but uh, this guy's last name is David Jones uh, he's a guy named David Jones who sent me this coin right here which came out of the uh, 2001 Kaiba deck and the OCG um, it came out of, like the same um, you know structure decks as the original Duelist Kingdom set yeah th that guy David Jones guys that guy I've had these ever like I've kept these on my person, you know, everywhere I've went, Yu-Gi-Oh wise, you know, ever since I've got these, and they're so cool. Um, you know, this is how I flip, you know, heads or tails. So this this is a really cool Millennium Puzzle coin, Millennium Puzzle on one side, a Millennium Eye on the other side. It's very very cool, um, old, very old Yu-Gi-Oh coin. Um, I you know I carry it with me. It's good to you know just have on the field. Um, you know, you can flip it for heads or tails. It's just really cool. It's just it's classic. It's very nostalgic. Like this is the most some of the best and most nostalgic. 
nostalgic stuff in my whole collection, guys. Seriously, it's very cool, and I keep it on my person because it's just too cool not to, you know? But, um, yeah, this is the Duelist Kingdom set, the original Japanese Duelist Kingdom set I keep on me. Um, you know, set sail for the kingdom, Duelist Kingdom, and glory of the king's hand. Very, very cool stuff. And then um, I keep a Maximilian Pegasus character card on me. What is this? What is this? I actually showed you guys in my Tune Extravaganza video, if you would recall, um, I showed you guys this card, and um, I got this signed. Um, the same Nats where I got this um, this uh, this tent, the Table 500 tent. And I met the one and only Darren Dunstan, the voice behind Maximilian Pegasus. Oh, Yugi boy! Yeah, that guy was really really cool to meet. If you're watching this, he's probably not. But if you are watching this, you were really cool to meet, dude. You were really nice and everything. Thank you for signing my card. Thank you for signing my fake card at that. <laughs> so, um, but what's really Really weird about this fake card uh, though guys is um, I showed this in the uh, Tune Extravaganza video once again uh, but in that video I also talked about how this is somehow some kind of sought after fake or something because it sells for money on eBay I have no idea what that's about seriously I have no idea what that's about um, a fan sent me this card in fan mail though um, to make like this to just wrap up this whole story here um, a fan um, sent me this card in fan mail um, you know, I had this in my collection. I used it as like my, you know, I used it as my totem or whatever, and now I use it as my field center. But um, you know, I had it in my collection for a long time. I went to Nats with it. Um, it had uh, you know Pegasus sign it, you know, the one and only sign it, and then. Um, yeah, then I found out later that it was worth money, weirdly, which makes it even cooler because it's like a sought-after fake. It's not just any fake with Pegasus on it. It's something that's worth something? I have no idea. I have no idea why, you know, you would buy a fake card. But either way, guys, either either way, um, I'm, I'm very, very glad to have it. It's very sentimental to me. You know, some this is one of the most uh, sentimental things in my entire collection to me. Um, and I forgot the guy's name who sent me, uh, you know, this this fake card and the other uh, fake uh, character cards. I'm really sorry. I'm not any less appreciative or grateful. It's just I'm terrible with names. Um, and some people I talk to more than others. So that's just all it comes down to. Um, you know, um, I don't remember the guy who made me these tokens for example but these are the crispest and most professional and most nostalgic tokens that anybody ever sent me in all the fan mail these are the coolest things because not only is it blue eyes ultimate dragon but you have wing dragon of raw slifer the sky dragon and obelisk the tormentor like these are these tokens are so so sick and um, I've, I've just kept these on me the, I've used these tokens ever since they were sent to me seriously um, I have I've got I sent a lot of tokens through fan mail. They're all really cool. Um, I, I, I still have them all, but these are the ones that, you know, I keep on my person, you know, keep on me at all times. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah. Um, besides uh, what's going to wrap up this video, but the last thing I just, uh, I keep card sleeves on me because, uh, you know, spare sleeves because they all are shit and rip all the time. But now let's wrap this all up with a gift, guys, with a gift from Jim Playmats. Uh, Brandon from Jim. Um, shout out to that guy. He's such a homie, man. He's such a cool guy. I have a North Face backpack that I got, you know, as a gift from my parents uh, years ago um, that I've been using, you know, for Yu-Gi-Oh! purposes and just, you know, luggage purposes for years and years now. But when the owner of Jim Playmats messages you and just wants to send you a backpack just because, you don't tell him no, you accept the backpack, guys. You accept the backpack. And I'm really excited to open this because he was telling me some of the stuff that this, you know, can do is, uh, is telling me all this. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna open it. I'm just gonna open it. I'm just gonna open it and show you. Oh, I already like that. And I forgot that he sent me this too. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's a bonus. That's a bonus. I forgot he sent that with it. Dude. What a G. What a G. This is a calculator holder too. Ah, oh, and like some pads, you know, so you could write on, write your life points on, keep track of your life points with. What a cool guy. What a cool guy. Jim playing mats, ladies and gentlemen. Like, this guy doesn't even sponsor me. I, like, like, Meta Matt sponsors me, sends me this stuff, and he sent me a sticker. This, I just noticed that, ah, oh, that's so cool. Man, and this color, I really like this gray color. You know what, I'm gonna move this mat right here because I don't wanna mess it up. Man. All the pockets, guys. I like this already. Like all the freaking pockets. Like there's a pocket here, pocket here. Like wow, just like back to back. I like that already. I like that already. Yeah, I could like he like he like literally. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. He was like, hey, uh, you know, it's got a lot of pockets. This, that, the other. And like I was like, oh, he's just telling me this. So I'll talk about it. But like no, that's like I immediately noticed. Like that is really cool. I like that. that I like that a lot. And then uh. 
Man, there's pockets in here too. That is so cool in these mesh. Oh, yes. I like these mesh things. You can keep like, you know, different deck boxes and things in there. Um, you know, let's, like packs of cards, so, you know, like just commons, you know, just all together you can keep in there, just stuff you don't really care about. Um, but, I mean, it's just pockets. The thing is, a storage. Wow! There's even a little... Wow! There's even like a, like, a, there's a pocket right here, there's pocket. Yeah, I was about to say, there's got to be one on the other side then, and sure enough, there is. Wow! Sure enough, there's pockets everywhere. The 3D mesh stuff, I like it. Yeah guys, I cannot stress this enough. All the pockets. This is amazing, like someone could steal this backpack from you and like not get all of your stuff because there's so many pockets. Like they would have to actually find everything to steal stuff from you because they could jack your backpack but they're not gonna find your stash because there's so many pockets. This is so awesome, I love this man. He did also say that this is made out of water resistant material. Here's like, a, there's a lock right here so if someone does steal this, it's no big deal. If you gotta chase them down, you know, and they drop it in the water, whatever, you know, some scene out of a superhero movie, um, this is water resistant. So no big deal, you know, if you got to chase them down and kick their teeth in for taking your stuff No big deal guys. No big deal that he's gotcha. This is so cool There's a lock on here everything guys the the main the main zipper locks that is amazing This thing guys, I am I'm in shock like this is this is so cool. I'm very, very happy with this. Um, this definitely does replace my North Face backpack. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. I like the backpack. I'll still use it just for Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments. I think this is this is what's going down, you know? <laughs> this is what's going down. This is going to be so satisfying, though. Yeah, this is just going to fit like, oh, yep. Right there, just like perfectly. Oh, that's so satisfying. Brandon, thank you so much again. Gym play mats, everybody. Um, you know, I'll, I'll probably have you know the link to their website um, in the comment section. You know, pinned down in the comment section um, or in the description or something. Thank you so much again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead, and let me know all the stuff that you take with you to locals or you know to regionals or to YCSs. Um, tell me, tell me about all your stuff, guys, because that's one thing that I've discovered through play about playing Yu-Gi-Oh is that I like a lot of the times I like you know talking to my opponent about the stuff that they have more than I like playing them. So uh, go ahead and let me know all the. Stuff Stuff you guys bring with you to tournaments down in the comment section. I would love to hear um, uh, everything about what's the most uh, sentimental or nostalgic to you. But until next time, guys, we gotta get Eugene playing some better stuff. I also forgot to show the inside of this. I like the blue a lot. This reminds me of like old Pokemon binder stuff. I love this. Old school backpack stuff too. I like this a lot. And I like this see-through thing right here. So kick-ass. Thanks again, bro.